I, I'm going to be straight with you. When I talk to the guys on the radio about marriage, I say that marriage is for the poor and dumb. They're going to continue to crank out Xerox copies of themselves. That there'll be plenty of children in the future. Uh, why should someone who's intelligent, has money, has potential, has a career, uh, why should they spend their resources on something like that? And, and your, your idea is that the, most, uh, the best way to spend your resources is on giving yourself pleasure. Absolutely, and why not? Well, I'm not saying that one shouldn't spend some money on giving themselves pleasure, but is that, you know, what are you leaving behind? What, what kind of life are you, are you defining for yourself? What kind of meaning are you defining for yourself? You're saying that's enough for you. You're saying that's, that's life enough for a lot, you want to live That's enough it, for a lot of guys. Huh? That's enough for a lot of guys. Uh, it, it, it may be for a lot of guys. I actually don't believe that it's that enough for most guys. It was enough. It was enough that you had to write this piece. I mean, you can't. You can't have it both ways. You can't have it both ways. You can't say that this is. Now wait a minute, Tom. Most of the child men will marry. You know, and I said that at the end. Most of them will and will marry, and they will have kids. That's what tends to happen in this in this world, uh, despite the existence of child men in their twenties and thirties. Yes, but by the same token, if a guy waits until he is a doctor, is a lawyer, is an architect, has a practice has money, has funds, buys himself a house, he has insured himself against divorce, uh, where a woman can't take his house away, where a woman cannot take half of his law practice or half of his architectural practice, uh, where a woman cannot uh, uh, take what he has. And on top of that, and uh, in, in the way we would normally say it on the program, um, if you wait till 35, 40 to get married, you can still marry a 23-year-old. <laughs> well, you're you're really confirming what I what I wrote, or rather, the inspiration behind my piece, which is that women are pretty unhappy with you, child men, uh, and you can see why. In other words, here you are at at age uh, forty, having a good old time, and they're looking for husbands. And where are you? You're looking at the twenty three year old. Right. Well, and again, it's uh, should I be making myself available to some woman to start dipping into my bank account or taking but up you're... space in my home for tchotchkes and knickknacks? No, uh, but what kind of what kind of companionship do you want in life? You know, do you want to have just a trophy wife who you know will look pretty and young and make you feel young. I've gotten beyond the desire for a trophy wife. My companionship is my my friends, my guy friends. The, the, that's my companionship. Uh, women are not there for companionship or conversation. Uh, they are there to provide uh, whether it be uh, arm candy or sexual pleasure or uh, occasional entertainment. As I as I said, I have a stripper pole in my home, and then the rest of the time, if I need to talk about politics or books or the election, I talk to my guy friends about that. Well. Um I don't know exactly what to say to that, except, again, I think that if you look at the surveys if you, uh, uh, of young people, what do they want, what do they look forward to in life, they do expect to find companionship with the opposite sex. And, uh, you know, you may be the exception to the rule, um, and I, you sound like a very bitter man. <laughs> well, I, it's not that I'm a bitter man, because, in fact, I, 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 as I tell the audience, I'm the happiest I've ever been today. Um, I have been through divorces. Um, I had prenups, so I didn't get dinged too badly. And I didn't have children, so I didn't get dinged too badly. And I'm not an alimony payer, and I don't believe in alimony. And uh, so from that standpoint, I don't really have a lot to be bitter about. I'm on good terms with the people I was married to in the past. I just don't see why I should be appropriating my resources to them. Yeah. Well, again, as I said, I think that for most people, uh, they look forward to some kind of strong, you know, very powerful connection to uh, someone of the opposite sex. I think that's true for men and women. They may not want it now if they're 25. They may not want it when they're 28 or 30, even for that matter. But it is a goal for most people. And I think most people want to have children. You said very clearly you do not. But I think, uh, you know, but even if even if I did. I wouldn't marry somebody to have children, and the reason I wouldn't do it is because if the marriage didn't work out, I would have to pay alimony. Well, you're going to have to pay. Well, you, know, you don't we, have to pay alimony. Talk about the, we can talk about the laws, that uh, alimony laws, and, you know, perhaps they, you know, there's, a, there's an argument that we want to change them, although I'm not sure I would agree with you for reasons we could go into later. And I, and I also don't believe in handing over my resources uh, that I've worked to create all these years. You know, I've created this radio program. I have a number of service marks that I've registered. Uh, I own a business. Uh, I don't want to run the I'm going to have to hand them over or 50% of them over to somebody else. Well, as you know, there are ways to avoid that these days, um, and many men uh, do get pre. And how many of the, how many of how many? Well, uh, some women do, but uh, I don't know how many women you've dated, Kay. But I can <laughs> I can tell you that uh, women are very very uh, negative towards prenups for the most part. Very yeah, few yeah. of them are willing to sign prenups. Right. Well, uh, you know, unless yeah, they have more than I have. Yeah. Well, you know, they they see it as you're uh, d trying to deprive them and not trusting them, and which you don't. <laughs> well, well, and as I always say, it's it's not a matter of whether I trust them. I don't trust judges and attorneys who generally make these determinations. Yeah. And look, in New York State, where you live, it's pretty severe. Look, Tom, what you're describing, I think, is a very sad situation of the relations between the sexes, and I'm getting a big, big dose of this in the email that I'm getting from my readers. 
there is, and on both sides, women and men. The women are completely disgusted with the men uh, that they're meeting. They find them immature. They find them uh, fail, you know, unwilling to commit. I mean, <laughs> you can see why. Uh, uh, they find them uh, 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 self-involved uh, and unable to really carry on a relationship. But, you know, you, in a way, what you're saying is, well, yeah, we can't because we're not interested in relationships. That's what you're saying. And, you know, if you have women who are still interested in you, which I suspect you do because you have a lot to offer them. <laughs> because because people love to walk into a bakery even if they can only smell the bread. Well, okay, but do you like being being liked for something like that? Is that what you want to be? It's part of for? it's yes, you know why? Because it's part of who I am. It is a quantifiable representation of everything I've accomplished. All right, and then uh, you know, not it's like being liked for other accomplishments, like liked for being an artist, liked for being an author, liked for uh, being uh, the winner of the strongman competition. How about, how about for being you? Have you ever had anybody well, like you? For that? My money is part of who I am. It is part of it, Tom. But you, you, you do know that a lot of women are interested in the money and not you. That's perfectly you okay. that's perfectly okay because I'm interested in getting them naked and not interested <laughs> in having a conversation with them. So it's a fair deal. <laughs> You're right. It is a fair deal if that's the way you want to treat people. Now let me but ask you another let me ask you another question here because you talk in this article as you're trying to make